Hi everyone, welcome again to your course, Chemistry for Engineers Laboratory. Today, you will be making or you will be uh, doing your third experiment, which is entitled Metals and Some Aspects of Corrosion. Again, this is your instructor, Engineer Janaika A. Tapiador. The third experiment is entitled Metals and Some Aspects of Corrosion and uh, the same with the past two experiments that we have, I will be providing you the link in order for you to perform the intended experiment. So this is the intended, exp uh, this is the website for the intended experiment, Virtual Lab Activity Series as the title says so let me just read to you the background of this experiment it says here the usefulness of metals in structural and other applications depends on their physical and chemical properties although iron is the most common metal used in manufacturing it must be protected against corrosion because it rusts easily Copper is used in electrical wiring because it conducts electricity extremely well and resists corrosion better than many metals. Gold is a highly valuable jewelry metal because it is essentially unreactive. How can we determine the relative reactivity of different metals? To determine the activity of metals, you can compare the reactions of metals with different metals ions. So we already, um, I already provided you a very brief um, recollection of your knowledge on your redox equation. So essentially, when a corrosion happens, it is actually all because of redox equations. So as you can see here in equation number one, you have two aluminum, which is in the solid form, and it is added in three moles of your copper two chloride, which is in your aqueous solution yielding the products which are your uh, two moles of your aluminum three chloride in, in an aqueous solution and the production of your three moles of your copper solid that is for your equation number one and for your equation number two if you add copper which is a solid in a solution of aluminum three chloride which is an aqueous solution no reaction happens so it says here, the reaction of aluminum with copper to chloride is classified as a single replacement reaction. Aluminum reacts with and replaces copper ions in copper to chloride. Single replacement reactions will occur spontaneously in one direction only. A more active metal always replaces the ion of a less active metal. In general, the activity of a metal may be defined as follows. So you have the italized text here which says an active metal will, will react with a compound of a less active metal which is converted to its free element form. The more active metal forms a new compound containing metal cations. Based on the first equation, aluminum is more active than copper and therefore replaces the copper. This is called a single replacement reaction. So the, the objectives of this experiment are the following. To explore the reactivity of your metals, to practice writing single replacement reactions, to practice using the activity series chart in your reference table. So let me just show you then the procedure of this experiment. So you have here the link, which we will just be uh, clicking on a new window. And uh, for this experiment, you have to enable your Adobe Flash Player for it to work. So you just allow it to play. And it says here, Metals in AQ Solution. In the next exercises, you will be able to test several metals with different AQ solutions. For example, you can place your zinc, zinc metal in your copper to nitrate aqueous solution so let's click on start here are the beakers of aqueous solution of the labeled compound so you have different solutions in each of the beakers 
Let's click on Activity 1. And we are to choose from any of the metals here. So, for example, let me choose Magnesium. So, here are the Magnesium strip. And we are going to dip that in this in um in these beakers containing different aqueous solution so let me click uh, this one says click here to place the metals into the solution so click that we wait for a while then click it click it again to remove the metals from the solutions so there as you can see, some of the uh, some of the metal strips of the magnesium um, metal actually reacted with the different aqueous solution. However, for this particular solution, which is your magnesium two nitrate, no reaction happened. You can see it by the difference in colors. This is the original color. This is the new color. So this is what you will be observing. And um, you will be performing each of the activity that I will be providing in the um, assignments tab or rather in the modules tab of your canvas. The data that you will be using is placed there. So let's try again. Uh, let's try one more before you can do it on your own. So let me click on a copper metal and then let me dip that in the solutions wait for a while and then you can remove the metal and identify which reacted with the metal uh, with the copper metal so there's a total of four activities here that you will be performing and as it was before with your previous activities again i will be providing you a file that you would need to follow or you would need to answer in order for you to perform this activity so that's it for now class i will be um asking you to use the rest of the time to perform the uh, to perform experiment number three so um that's it stay home stay safe and stay healthy goodbye class